All right, number 11, um, we are given uh, two box plots. So we have data set A here and data set B down here. We want to know which data set has the largest value. Okay, so here is A's data set. It goes all the way to 95. B's data set goes all the way to 90. Okay, so A has the largest value. So I'm going to say data set A. Now we have part two. It says which data set has the largest variation. So we're just going to do an estimate, a rough estimate of variation and find the spreads. So which one has the largest variation? Which one is more spread out? We're just going to use a range to measure that. So for data set A, we see the biggest number is 93. The smallest number is 52. If we subtract those two, we get a spread of 41 Okay, for data set A. For data set B, if we look at these, we have 88 for our largest. We subtract 57. That gives us a spread of 31. Okay, so the largest spread is going to come from data set A. It's more spread out. Okay, number 12, <clears throat> high school has 28 players on the football team. Uh, the summary of the player's weight is given in the box plot. We want to approximate the percentage of players weighing greater than or equal to 242 pounds. Okay, so remember, this box plot splits your data into quarters. So 25% here, 25% here, even though it's a bigger spread. 25% here and 25% here. So since 242 is the number they talked about, that is the third quartile. We want to know players weighing greater than this. So if this is 75% and below, then this is the rest is 25%. So that's how you use those quartiles in the box plot. So the upper part is 25%. And number 13, this is our last one. So it says construct a box plot from the given data. Okay, so we are going to show you how to do that with the calculator here. Okay, so what we're going to do, turn it on. I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to go to stat, enter on edit, arrow up, clear. And I'm going to insert these numbers. So 82. Uh, 67, 85, 55, 79, 63, 64, 91, 88. Go back and double check. I feel like I've missed something. 82, 67, 85, 55, 79, skip 77. So let me add that. 63. 64, 91, 88. Okay, you get these in there. Okay. <clears throat> then we do stat, calc, enter, enter. We get our five number summary. So all we need to do is locate where the minimum would be. So we're going to drag this over to 55. Very sensitive. Okay, then the Q1 is 64, so we're going to drag this back to 64. Median is 78. So this guy needs to come over. So we can put the median at 78. And then Q3 is 85. right over it and maximum is 91 okay the calculator will also draw you a box plot so here's how you do that we're going to go to second and then y equal and it says plot right now it's off if you hit enter we're going to turn it on so right now off is highlighted so hit enter on on we're going to go down and it wants to know what type, so 
go over, 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 and let's just do this box plot right here. So this one says if you have outliers, it'll show you which ones are outliers. But right now we just want to do a standard box plot, so hit enter on that one. Okay. And then you want to go zoom, and if you arrow down, we want to go to zoom stat because we put all that information in stat. So it's going to fit to that information. So zoom stat, and it shows you a description of your box plot. If you hit the trace button, it shows you those values. So it says median right there, which is 78. You can see what we have. Minimum is 55. I'm just arrowing left and right. I can click arrow left and right. If you arrow to the next one, it shows you Q154. Um, the next one, 78, 85, and 91. So it will make it for you, but all you have to do is drag and drop here on this problem.